Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft video. My name is Mr. Musser, and I just really quickly want to say, please like, comment, subscribe. I know you guys hate hearing this, and I know I hate hearing it, so I'm just going to make this quick. Um, in the future, I hopefully will be able to do some other games, but the only way I can do that is if you guys help me out. Um, anyway, today, guys, uh, I'm actually going to be playing my survival series completely filmed now because some of you guys like some of the stuff that I've built. So, ah, what the, oh, okay. Where, what? I'm, I'm confused. Help. Alright, <laughs> apparently that's a glitch for uh, spawning in in a minecart. That sucks. So, um, I do have my pickaxe. I'm thinking about going to my skeleton farm or the nether or something and trying to get some XP because I do need to enchant another diamond pickaxe. And, uh, yeah. I, mean, I could always just pull this one out. I think this one actually is. Oh, uh, no, it's not new. I think I grabbed a new one. <laughs> I could repair it and enchant it, but it is not worth it. Might as well just make another one. And luckily I have lots of sticks and lots of diamonds. Now, guys, um, I am actually going to be making a server that will be open to the public. Um, and basically there will be simple rules. Um, instead of actually having like items that you trade, well, you can still do that. But there will actually be an in-game currency... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. If you guys want um, suggestions in the bottom, whoever gives the best suggestion, give me your Minecraft name, and you probably will be opt if I decide that you gave me a really good answer, and I liked it. So uh, go ahead and put that down in the description below. I am going to be working on that over the next couple of weeks. It should hopefully be up before uh, Valentine's Day. And it'll definitely be up before spring break, for those of you who don't do anything during spring break. Uh, for those of you who have seen some of my older videos, um, me and Sock Monkey 102416, or Mason as most of you know him, uh, me and him are besties, and he recently moved to Chicago. So I'm probably possibly going to be visiting him during spring break, but I will try to take my laptop with me and get some videos uploaded in the little uh, time that I am there. So, yeah. Alright, I need to get my sword. Luckily, I don't kill stuff that often, so it's still in rather good condition. Let's see, what is it? Smite and I'm breaking. Yeah. I think I might actually just go ahead, get a ton of XP, and then enchant some books. Like, once I get up to 30, just, oh well, enchant a book. And then rack up the 30 again. Okay, wait for this to stop lagging. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. I could go ahead and put an enchantment table in here, but I really don't want to. And, um, actually, guys, for, like, the past couple of days, things I've been looking at are things that were in Minecraft that were actually scrapped, and Gears was one thing that I saw. And, uh, imagine if there was redstone, only it could not only go on the ground, but up vertical walls. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, I thought so, too. Uh, other than that, uh, Emerald Ore was actually originally supposed to be Ruby, but it got scrapped later on and changed to Emerald because of the fact that it looked so much like the Redstone Ore that we have today. And put this in hard so we can get some good mobs spawning in. I need to make this more efficient. It's not that I need the blaze rods because I really don't. And I actually need to start getting into making potions more because of the fact that I easily have most of this material accessible. I do need to find a spider spawner, so once I start going mining, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find one of those and 
colonize it. Use it for my own various purposes. Like, um, a silk farm. Or, silk? Nah, whatever. I am going to hopefully turn my zombie spawner into an XP grinder because I need an XP grinder so badly. Because that would make this so much easier. And to do an XP grinder, I would probably also need a little potions lab or something. And I've actually been looking into doing like a little bit more complex uh, redstone on here. But I am just a fail. Like, I took the simplest design ever that worked in uh, 1.6 and I tried in 1.7. Didn't work. So either I'm a simpleton or a Minecraft update made it so that the redstone did not work. Alright. Ah, oh, crap. Good thing I have enchantment tables in my base. Not in like two or three different places. Anyway, guys, um, like I was saying, I am going to be putting up a server. It is going to be a survival server. There will be a couple rules, nothing major. Um, basically, no griefing. I don't give a crap about what goes on in the uh, text section. You guys can advertise other servers, um, curse, as long as it doesn't get too bad to the point where I actually have to uh, make this server, um, you know, uh, whitelisted or something and uh, I, I that might actually happen later on if so many people are playing on it that it just lags out I will have like contests for people who can get on and uh, play but it will be a survival server more likely than not um, actually it'll definitely be a survival server and um, I, I'm not trying to make this like the minecraft server um, not really at all but I do want to have like a server going because I do know some people actually do watch my videos a little bit and uh, so if anybody actually wants to play on that uh, once I get it up and running I will put the IP in the link in the description or a link in the description to where you can find the IP or if you want to tell your friends where to find it or whatever more likely than not, there will be like a certain set number of players. And I'm actually not going to have one of those servers where you have to pay money to get stuff. Because of the fact that it is a survival server, it's survival. And if it gets to the point where I actually do have to whitelist it, then that will happen. But hopefully it doesn't get to that hectic. Anyway, guys, uh, if you do want to start, um, like, putting in names for the money, because I have been thinking about, uh, things, um, like, I honestly have no idea, but I do know how to use the scoreboard system in a basic way, and have it so that under the player name it shows how much money you have, and then basically at the end of the day, um, or whenever, there's a transaction or something, um, I would go ahead and I'd have a dummy score that can be changed by me or uh, maybe with like a command block set up or something. I'm going to be figuring that out. That's one thing that I'm going to be working on with the server. Um, but yeah. So... And if there is any abusing of glitches or hacks or anything, uh, sadly that doesn't work. <laughs> just because of the fact that it is going to be just vanilla Minecraft, no plugins, no anything like that. It's just going to be a basic server. <sighs> Come on. Spian. Thank you. Alright, I'm at 23. I only have like 7 left. I really want to get a silk touch so I can put it on a pair of shears because I would love to start doing an ice farm. 
that would be nice and convenient. Especially because if I did get an ice farm going, then I could actually have those little too high jump and sprint uh, tunnels. And that would make traveling through my world so much faster. Or if I could find a horse, that'd be useful. Anyway. And um, one thing that I want to get your guys' opinion from, since you guys are going to be the people who are actually on the server probably more than I will be. Um, PvP enabled or disabled? Are you guys people who just want to have like a nice little peaceful um, survival, or do you want to have to worry about people running up, killing you, and stealing your food? Yeah. Um, there will be like some basic rules, like no stealing, griefing, uh, pranks will be acceptable, but, I mean, again, there's limits on that. Like, uh, if it's a prank, it can't be, like, that huge of a, like, it can't be, like, a major thing where it sets the person back, like, borrowing all their diamonds and then dying on your way back to your base to hide them or whatever. Uh, nothing like that, because I don't want people getting mad, and, uh, you know, being mad at me because of that so there's that um and then like you actually to build your base or if you're going to build a base um you have to claim the area basically you just section it off with something and put a little sign up around it in a couple different areas so that people know that that is your area and then if they build in there they'll be banned from the server for a certain amount of time and uh, you clean up basically whatever they do uh, the server probably will be updated or saved or whatever every so often um, hopefully it won't be down for maintenance that long unless there is an update in Minecraft in which case they're like after a couple updates so say like right now we're on 1.7 say we get to uh, 1. you know Let's just say we're in 2.0 or something, if they actually do make that. Um, by then, there will be so many things added in that are different that Minecraft will not really be the same, and the server will more likely not be updated because of all of the updates in the game itself. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to be working on that. But I need to hurry up and get this XP. I actually wish I could get a resource pack that translates so I can um, get the language that they use so I can read what the heck I'm getting from my enchantments. Oh. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, I can tell this is getting a little bit boring. And I would fast forward it, but I really don't want to do any editing. Because that means I can't make as many videos. <laughs> and if I can't make as many videos, I won't get as many subscribers. Because I started out from two subscribers. One that was myself, and one that was a friend of mine. And now I have five. That means three more people subscribed. So... That's awesome. And uh, a couple of you are Minecrafters who actually subscribed. And some of you aren't Minecrafters. Some of you are just people who, um, you know, do game stuff. Like, I saw one person who subscribed to me. I think it was Game Reels or something close to that. Thank you for subscribing. I did actually watch some of your videos. Nice trick shots. Very nice. Uh, the other people who subscribed, I actually didn't really check out all that much because my computer crashed because I was running that along with some other stuff and my computer is a baby and it cannot handle anything which is why hopefully this summer I'm gonna be getting an Alienware along with a job but don't worry that will not affect me posting videos because hopefully I will be able to get off on Wednesdays and the weekends so Wednesday will be your little tidbit and the weekends will be when I play and I mean, it's not like going, it's going to be an actual, like, full-time job. It's going to be more of a, 
work here, do this, get some money, and then when I'm done, I have some money. And I did the math to get the cheaper, well, actually, the more expensive, cheap version of the uh, Alienware desktop that I want to get. I will have to work there 43 days. Five-hour days. No, that doesn't sound that bad. But remember, this is summer. It is hot. So, yeah. Like a man. Alright. I would say this is good, but I really want a level 30 enchant. Yeah. Come on. Let me kill you. I do need to make this thing more efficient. Hmm. I mean, I can think of about 205 ways that I can make this more efficient, but none of them sound efficient enough. They they don't feel efficient. And I mean, I could do like a little cheats and glitches and whatever, and try to, uh, you know, get to the top of the nether, and then from there just build like a little grinder or whatever. So I could do that, but I don't really want to. Now, if I was going to build a base up there, that'd be kind of cool. Just because it would. I mean, think about it, it'd be hard to find, because it's on the top of the nether. Second off, I don't know if maps would actually be able to see it. So, if maps could, then that'd be also pretty cool. But I doubt they will. I wish they would make it so you can actually have maps of at least the end. Because, I mean, with that, it's pretty simple. I mean, not simple, but you could. But with the nether, it's mostly tunnels and stuff. And there's multiple layers, and there actually isn't an open top unless you cheat or use a glitch. So, yeah. <laughs> Makes me sad. Ah. This is going much slower than I thought it would. <sighs> All right. Ah, uh, that works. I guess I can just go ahead and try to get a twenty-eight, and hope that it doesn't suck. Crap. I'm going to have to go back to my storage facility to get my books and all my other stuff that I need. And I might as well just enchant my stuff over there too, since. That's where I have an enchantment table. And I'm actually going to enchant a book and just pray that I get a silk touch. Silk touch would literally be the best thing ever. Not even for my pickaxe. Okay, if I got a silk touch, I wouldn't use it for a pickaxe. If I did repairing, it would be so expensive. I mean, I can think of about 101 ways to easily get XP, but some of those will lag your game really hard. No, I'm going the wrong way, am I? Yes. This video was going to be of me mining, but I guess it's going to be an adventure. Adventure time? Come on, grab your friends. Try to very. Please don't sue me. If, if you guys don't know what that's from, I'm not allowed to say it or I'll get sued. <laughs> it's so hard, all the cows want to find me. No, sue so hard, Nicholas Cage want to find me. National Treasure. Again, don't sue me. Hello, sheep. Hello, Mr. Sheep. And if I do get a nice farm going, hopefully it will be, um, well, oh, I heard some. It'll be somewhat along the lines of my cobblestone farm, only hopefully better. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, I do have one final idea for how to get the rest of this XP without killing stuff. I can create stuff. Hmm. 
And, um, yeah. If anybody, uh, doesn't really like how I start up my videos, and they would like it if I had, like, a little theme thing that I do, like, um, an intro, because I know a ton of Minecrafters have intros, uh, I'm not really good with stuff like that. Which is why I don't edit a lot of my videos, because I don't want to take the time to do it. It does take so much time, and it's easier just to try to do everything in one shot, and if I screw up, I can go ahead and re- uh, refilm it, so. Yeah, now if I just go over here, 20, 29, really? Are you kidding? Jews. They're greedy, they're greedy Jews. Not that I just like Jewish people, if you're Jewish, it's, I'm sorry, I don't know why. And I'm going to stop making Jew jokes now. Because I just realized that there could be people who are Jewish. Who actually watch my videos. And instead, and instead of subscribing, they'll be like, wow, this guy's a dick. Uh, and I would make a Jewish joke, but it's inappropriate. And I don't really want to be hated by every race or religion. Alright, just need to make sure I have all of the numbers. And then maybe in a little bit I'll shear them. I mean, I know I'm still missing a ton of colors. Like cyan. And, um... You know what, I don't even know. I don't, I don't care. I really don't. Alrighty, let me see. I honestly cannot think of any better way to get more XP. Oh well, might as well go mining. <laughs> Smelt something. Oh, by the way guys, that brings me to my next little contraption. Which took forever to build. I literally had to sit here using one little piece of track and <laughs> set up like these ladders in like this certain order and I actually screwed up somewhere so this was a pain it is a minecart elevator and from here to here I actually have to get out jump and then hit it because I screwed up when I was making it and I did not put the proper spacing in anyway I just had this uh, coming down and uh, I just started mining here, so there's still plenty of stuff to mine out. And I am more likely not going to start another strip mine here. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos with my survival stuff, I do show off my strip mine, I think, at least once or twice. Hopefully, if not, then oh well. Uh, I do have another strip mine that I use. So just throwing that out there. Ah, there we go. There is my XP maker. Some good old coal. Just get some coal. And hope that's enough to level me up. <laughs> oh, I have a little bit of the hiccups. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be annoying. Well, nope, that wasn't enough. And I can't see the brightness on my TV is way too low and I don't know where I am. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm all alone. There's nobody here beside me. All right, I think it was this way. Hooray! We did it! I love it seeing the door of the Explorer. We did it song, but again, I don't want to be sued. So I'm just going to straight up say, we did it. We did it! Do, 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 do. Oh well, let's see. 
I don't know if I've actually been in here or not, because a couple videos ago, actually I think last video, I was mining and I had just gotten done. I don't know. I honestly can't tell. Because a lot of this stuff looks the same to me. Oh, I thought this was gold. It looked like gold from back there. <laughs> I am thinking about starting a new series, though. Like, I don't know if I want to do a survival or a creative or whatever you guys like. Just, you know, put it in the comment section below. I really don't have anything better to do. Actually, I do. I probably should be doing something school-related, but oh well. Yeah, I'm going to be looking for this uh, mysterious exit for a little while. Uh, okay, I know I turned somewhere around here. Was it further down? Yes. I think it was. I changed my mind, I don't think so. Screw it. As long as I don't die, I don't care. Because I can always escape. Speaking of which, I should probably do something to make sure I don't mine into lava accidentally or... Whatever it is I might do to screw up. In a very major way. I want to float this way. Okay, is this gold? Yes. Yay. We did it. Do, 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 do. And again, not going to do the actual song. Alright, well, this is great. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, come on. Alright, there. Now, hopefully, I can get out of here without dying. Maybe even find my elevator. And show off how it works. So well. Well, I don't know. Actually, I think I might. I think my thing's up there. Yeah, it is. It is, but I don't know how to get up. Alright, let's just try this. Hooray, we did it. All right. So basically, all you have to do is just keep left. I mean, right. All you have to do is just keep right clicking into the minecarts from the one below, and then it'll just bring you up. And it's really convenient. I really think it's better than ladders because it's so much faster. Plus, you don't actually have to really hold any buttons except for getting out. And if you screwed up like I did in the lower section. That can also suck. <sighs> yeah, there are ways that you can easily do that. Especially if you already have something mined out in uh, like a 4x4 four four or a 2x2 two two or even a 3x3. Three three. A 3x3 three three I think would probably work close to the best. Um... Now, if you had something that was kind of, um, hmm, I'm trying to think of a way to describe this. These three red blocks and then one of these, that would be perfect thing to have mined out and then just leave that the way it is. Like, pretend that's, pretend this is a square, mine out that and that, and then this will be left. 
and then you can put in your mine carts because putting them in is a pain and there's like two or three ways I've came up with for doing that anyway guys I barely mind I did not reach my goal for levels I might do some XP farming build an XP farm possibly and hopefully next time I will get some more stuff done see you guys next time Mr. Massa out